my uh, little furry creature, her name's Mary Richards, named after the title Mary Tyler Moore's character from the Mary Tyler Moore show. I'm too young to remember it being on television, but um, I watched it, I guess I saw it, you know, probably on like TV land or one of the cable channels in some hotel room when I was on location working and feeling homesick and it made me so happy. I ordered all seasons on DVD and I used to travel with them so that I could watch them on my laptop when I was traveling for work because it was so comforting to me. I also really responded to the Mary Richards character because it was pretty groundbreaking when you think about it. I mean, this was a woman who broke up with her fiance, moved to the big city, Minneapolis, Minnesota, in order to pursue a career in broadcasting, which again, at the time was very unheard of. Well, I had the most uh, incredible male dog. His name was Buckley and I had him for years and he was my love and my roommate and my best friend. And you know, like all animals, unfortunately, he had to go live on the forever farm with his mom and about a year went by after Buckley left us and my vet Dr. Werber who I loved um, called me one day and was like hey I think it's time and I was like it's not time and he said just I work with a rescue they need a foster over Thanksgiving for this little dog would you just foster her and so that's when I picked up Mary and um, she basically curled up in a ball and just like I carried her around in a tote bag for two weeks and then it was the day before the adoption where I was supposed to take her and then all the people come and like I just lost my mind and I I called my husband and I'm like I can't, I can't get rid of her and he's like oh my gosh I'm about to shoot a live show fine we can keep her like please don't bother me at work anymore so my timing was really good but there was really something so special about having this little creature with me um, that did like, I think lower my blood pressure a lot. And I, I can't think of an exact moment in time when I knew she was staying with us, but it just felt like, oh, this is a good thing for me. I feel like I shouldn't have to tell people why it's so important to <laughs> adopt instead of shop. I mean, there's just so many animals that need homes. And there's even now so many like breed specific rescues that if you're like, well, I have to have this kind of breed of dog or I need, you know, hypoallergenic or whatever, like you can find that. There's just so many animals that like are needlessly euthanized. I mean, every day that could easily be adopted into homes. And I think that, you know, Fostering is such a great way to see how a pet's gonna work in your family. I mean, you can find such great animals and they're so happy to have a home and to not have to live in those cages. And Mary's like this tiny little cute, like teddy bear sort of fox raccoon looking dog, but she's really scary if she wants to be. So that took some getting used to and a lot of training. And she has chilled out a lot. She's really feeling self-confident. She's really feeling herself these days. Um, I started traveling with her when I go on location to shoot things and I brought her with me to New Orleans to shoot the thing about Pam and she went over everyone on set and in fact Renee Zellweger's character Pam Hupp has a dog and I can't tell you how many of my friends texted me after that first episode aired and they were like is Mary in the thing about Pam? like no there is only room for one actress in this family um, but Mary was there and she was like running around and she was such a cutie sometimes when she's like a little judgmental and mean I like to think that she's like my alter ego my favorite thing with Mary I love I love going on really long walks and Mary really loves to go on long walks we've walked seven miles in one day together I mean, she'll just walk and walk and walk. I think she would walk until she would drop. The thing about Mary that's funny, like the thing about Pam, I just realized I said that. But the thing about Mary that's funny is that she plays really hard to get, but she's so tiny and cute that people keep like, they just keep wanting more of her. They keep wanting her. If she lets, if she lets you pet her once, then you just like want to keep petting her, but like the next day she might be like, I don't really like, I'm not like feeling you today. She really does march to the beat of her own drummer, and she's uh, she's not someone that can be pinned down. You know, like she might like you one day, but then she might not like you ever again. Every day is a new day with Mary. That's what I always tell people. Mary has made my life better in every single way. I used to get so homesick when I was on location, and now like when I have her with me, it's so much better. She's she's gives me a reason to get up in the morning and like on a day off and sometimes I'm like mm, I miss my husband and I'm homesick she like 
I think genuinely brings a lot of joy to work. Like she runs it all around hair and makeup when we're in the trailer and she loves it and everyone brings treats and gives them to her and she just, animals bring a lot of joy and they definitely like calm people down, I think. And so, um, yeah, she's just made my life better in every single way. Um, minus the dog hair that, but she's little and it's not that bad. But I do usually have a lint roller with me. I have an hour long answer for what I loved about the thing about Pam, but I guess today it is just all the relationships that we made with each other when we were shooting this. It was a really amazing group of people. Renee Zellweger, who also was an executive producer, so she was my scene partner and my boss, can be a little nerve wracking sometimes, but not with Renee. Like she's just so lovely and wonderful and supportive and happy. And so when someone is like that on set, you know, everyone I think falls into line. And it was just, we had so much fun. And so today my favorite thing is like the friends I made on it. And I just put on the wig and went, here I go. And it was, uh, it was really easy once I had my wig on to feel like a completely different person. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.